Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Army Blues.
Please welcome to the stage former WUSA 9 anchor and co-chair of the Kennedy Center's Community Advisory Board, Andrea Rohn. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to you all. Hi there, back there. Hello. And welcome to this special evening commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar landing, jointly presented by the Kennedy Center and New Works Productions. As you heard in my intro, I'm privileged to serve the center here as co-chair of the Community Advisory Board. So usually when I come here, it's for a meeting or reception or like you to watch a performance. Rarely do I have an opportunity to be engaged artistically. So when my good friend Nolan called me, I jumped at the chance to be on stage. I'm super excited to support him. And as we can tell from that opening number by the United States Army Blues, give them another round of applause. It was exciting. It's going to be a fantastic evening. It is my pleasure now to bring to the stage the visionary for this program. He is the CEO of New Works Productions, and he happens to also serve as my fellow co-chair of the Communi Community Advisory Board. Please welcome Mr. Nolan Williams, Jr. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Andre. Good evening, everyone. Oh, you all can do better there. Good evening. We want to thank uh, U.S. Army Blues for getting us off to a rousing start. Aren't they amazing? Thank you, guys. Established in 2003, New Works Productions is one of the nation's premier producers of inspirational arts programming. We present theatrical productions, concert events, curatorial festivals, educational initiatives, and other projects that leverage the power of music and the arts to educate, to uh, to communicate, to educate, to uplift, and to inspire. Tonight's program is a component of our year-long programming commemorating the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar landing. Our programming this year is being uh, produced in Washington, D.C., in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in Atlanta, Georgia, and in Prince George's County, Maryland. We've especially focused on Prince George's County this year. In fact, earlier this week, we co-presented this same program with the Prince George's Department of Parks and Recreations, Arts and Cultural Heritage Division at the Harmony Hall Arts Center in Fort Washington, Maryland. I want to acknowledge them for their support and I want to thank our friends here at the Kennedy Center for our continued partnership that extends now over the course of many years. And so thank you, Deborah Rudder and Robert Van Leer and uh, Mark uh, Bermuthi Joseph and Diana Ezrins and all those who work, A.J. Jelanik, who work here to make sure that this programming takes place every day of the year. Isn't this amazing that you can come here for free programming like this? I want to also thank the United States Army Blues for partnering with us for this special concert event. And I want to thank also Jason Moran, who is the Kennedy Center's Artistic Director for Jazz. Um, when we were setting out to find a date, uh, Jason actually had this date and time on lock, but he released this to us so that we could have this program on this evening. And for those of you who are not aware, Jason and his wife are doing an amazing program at 8 o'clock, and so you can leave here and go next door. I think there's still tickets available. There are so many things to celebrate about Edward Kennedy Ellington. Born on April 29th, 1899 in Washington, D.C., the Duke had a career that spanned more than a half a century. He composed thousands of songs for the stage, screen, and American songbook. In many ways, Ellington was ahead of his time. Who else but Ellington had the presence of mind then to connect jazz with outer space. Tonight, we mark the 60th anniversary of Ellington's lesser known project titled Blues in Orbit. And this program includes some Ellington tunes rarely performed. In fact, New Works has commissioned three big band transcriptions of songs from this project, two of which we will be performing as a part of this program, beginning with this title song. Please receive again the United States Army Blues performing Ellington's Blues in Orbit.
please welcome to the stage aspiring jazz trumpeter Paul Bailey. Please welcome to the stage famed jazz musicians Brandon Seaforth and Langston Hughes II. Thank you. 
All right, you can do better than that for Brandon Seaford and Langston Hughes the second. We promised you a good show. Are we delivering on a good show? Can't hear you. All right, we have more to come. Alan Johnson is a celebrated jazz composer and musician known as the Dean of DC Jazz. Tonight, we present the second in a series of two world premiere performances of his work, One Giant Leap. Now, this work was commissioned by New Works Productions to honor the legacy of the Apollo 11 landing and especially the hidden figures of that era, the amazing African-American women who worked behind the scenes at NASA, including <laughs> Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson. Here to introduce the work is an amazing young woman from the Friendship Collegiate Academy. Her name is Destiny Wright, and she's performing an original piece titled The Awakening. Please welcome Destiny. This is The Awakening. I was told to shoot for the stars. Now I'm shooting for better. I want more than one shot. I need a double header. I pass through the shadow of defeat. My eclipse won't be solar. Nothing can block my shine. I'm taking over. A galactic brain breaking rules with superpowers. I'm dropping black girl magic like a meteor shower. And if I'm a threat to Mother Earth, she better dodge when I charge her. This generation's not in sync or bidding farther and farther away from our destiny. It's gonna take the best of me to show you we're not lost, you see. Demand our space in history. People look at me so highly, but I don't need the hyping. This is my big bang theory. Start small, then bring the lightning. Blast off on the barriers, the smartest you'll ever find. We took our one small step that changed the world for mankind. And when we pick the world up and shake it, everyone will be awakened because they really want us to be separated, constellation. And when we succeed, they come around and say, oh, look, I've been helping, you see? I'll just go to sleep and wake up when they view the awakening. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage jazz musician extraordinaire and commissioned composer for this evening, Alan Johnson.
Thou hast ordained. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Thank <laughs> you. 
please welcome to the stage former Def Jam poet and founder of dialect of Prince George's County, Patrick Washington. Letter from Earth. On the sixth day, when God created man, you were already smiling down on us. Not father, our son, you were more of your own, son of this earth. One clear evening, after traveling almost everywhere, someone decided to climb a mountain. At the summit, their eyes met yours. We were destined to meet. Destined to touch your face, tell you all about our travels down here below. Apollo, he's here to protect the children and has immaculate aim. So naturally, we turned this arrow upwards towards you. Calculated the distance from our fingers to your face. Thanks to a handful of gifted thinkers, men and women who we called computers, but we're so much more. We tested these heavenly waters sending up a shepherd who gently floated back down to us, and we knew it was time. We found men of steel, surrounded them with power and propulsion. Armstrong, Collins, Aldrin, men who jettisoned all of their fears, launched themselves with hope, and I tell you, I don't know what the prayers of astronauts sound like as five F-1 engines sling them to the skies. But I do know that you deserve a mention somewhere in those prayers, something like, dear celestial brother, please, please don't leave. Please be exactly where they said you'd be. All praises to your orbit, hallelujah, for your dust and glory to the view of our home from yours that only 12 earthly disciples have ever seen. We apologize for all of these lunatics howling at you. And forgive us our trespasses as we travel over and plow through these uncharted territories and create new craters. Our nature has always been to wonder. We're sorry for getting on your dark side. We need you to forgive us for our trespasses and our debts. Understanding that it is that sun that's always bringing our sins to light. Please, please give us rest. A vantage point from which we can travel next. Understanding that without you, our moon, everything, Spirals. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick Washington. Thank you, Patrick. All right, we're going to turn the calendar back 50 years. It was July 20th, 1969, and the entire world stood still as Commander Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin Jr. changed the course of history. Their achievement was indeed one small step for a man and one giant leap for all of humankind. To celebrate this achievement, the American Broadcast Company, the ABC Network, commissioned Duke Ellington to compose a song that was premiered live on network television. Here to perform Moon Maiden is a true master of jazz vocalese. He has shared the stage with jazz greats like Shirley Horn, Dizzy Gillespie, and Jimmy Heath. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. George Victor Johnson. Way out. 
out there in the blue Moon maiden Got to get with you I made my approach And then revolved My biggest problem Is still unsolved Moon maiden Listen here my dear your vibrations coming through loud and clear now i'm just a fly by night guy but to you i might be quite the right to do guy moon maiden moon maiden moon maiden my love Listen here, my dear, your vibrations coming through loud and clear. Now I'm just a fly-by-night guy, but to you I might be quite the right to do guy. Moon maiden, moon maiden, moon maiden, my love. The eagle has landed. Thank you very much. Please welcome to the stage the director of the United States Army Blues, Chief Warrant Officer Jack L. Smalls. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to see everybody out tonight. Uh, I just wanted to take a short pause in the program and tell you a little bit about the musicians that are here on the stage. Uh, before I get to that, though, uh, on behalf of our commander, Colonel Andrew Esch, I wanted to give a big thank you to Mr. Nolan Williams for collaborating with us on this special project. <laughs> so the musicians you see before you, uh, we're all active duty soldiers and we're stationed right across the river at Fort Myer. And um, we represent all the men and women who serve in, un the, uh, in uniform in the Army. And, uh, what we do is tell their story through music, through uh, public performances throughout the country. Um, in 1972, this group was specifically created to provide musical support to the National Capital Region, and also uh, one of its missions was to preserve America's unique art form, which is jazz. Uh, many of the members you see on the stage, uh, we, like I said before, we, we, we perform across the, the country, uh, but some people in this, on the stage have been able to go to combat zones and perform for troops overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. So that's one of our missions right there to provide musical support to our troops. Um, how many people, this is your first time here in this group? Just by show of hands. Wow, that's a lot. So please, we would like to see you again at our, our concerts. We play all across the, the capital. Um, if you want to check us out, please go to usarmyband.com. There you'll find not only this group's performance schedule, but there's a, we have a concert band, we have a ceremonial element, and we also have a vocal group. So you can check out all those groups and uh, come watch us perform. Also, if you want to check us out on Instagram, it's at U.S. Army Band. Again, it's at U.S. Army Band. And then our Facebook page, uh, U.S. Army Blues. So uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with this program with our next piece. Thank you very much.
Please welcome back to the stage the CEO of New Works Productions and artistic director of this program, Nolan Williams, Jr. So how have you enjoyed the program tonight? Thank you all so much for coming. That was uh, on that last number that featured Brandon Seafort. Brandon and Langston Hughes II are musicians with the Foundation for the Advancement of Music Education, known as FAME. And <laughs> one of the great joys of putting this program together is uh, partnering with that organization. Tony Lewis, who is the founder and uh, director of that program, is here. Please stand, Tony, for recognition. They're doing an amazing job with uh, young people in Prince George's County, introducing them to jazz and providing them with meaningful training. And we auditioned uh, some of their students, and those two were um, by far just exceptional. I want to thank the United States Army Blues for joining in that audition process. And I especially want to thank uh, Kenny Rittenhouse for uh, doing a coaching session with those young people, Lee Trumpet. You can scold me afterwards for not saying your rank, man. I'm sorry. That's what happens amongst friends. Um, uh, we also want to thank uh, other partners here. Teriana Duran, uh, who is the Director of Arts Integration at the Friendship Public Charter Schools. Thank you so much for helping us. Teriana, where are you? Please stand. And to the young poet, Destiny Wright, who's actually a senior at Friendship Tech Prep School. Can we celebrate her? And Brother Patrick Washington, for those of you who knew the group The Poem Sees, he was a part of a duo and they were on um, Deaf Poetry Jam as well as uh, uh, other kinds of performances throughout. Uh, we're really th uh, uh, thrilled to have had this partnership with Dialect of Prince George's County, which Patrick has founded. So uh, for all of the soloists and all of the poets, can we just give them a round of applause? I also want to thank uh, our friends working behind the scenes here at the center for all of their support. Thank you all so much for the tech team here, amazing tech team. My friend Andre Arone and Michael Fordham, who is our voice of God, thank you so much. And then I want to recognize uh, our commission composer, and I want Alan to come back out here. Did you all really uh, appreciate that work? That's an amazing piece of work. Come on, one more time for Mr. Alan Johnson. So if you enjoyed this program on this evening, um, I want to invite you to uh, become a friend of New Works Productions. That's New Works with one W. NewWorksProductions.com. Uh, go to our website and become a friend, um, become connected with the work that we're doing. Uh, we would love to see you uh, along with the Army Blues at our future programming. And one more time for these amazing musicians, United States Army Blues. Please stand, guys. Come on, this is, this is a world-class big band. World-class. It's been so amazing to partner with you. Thank you guys so much for being so gracious and everything. Um, and so, without any further ado, we end this program with another tune from uh, Ellington's Blues in Orbit project. This is Sea Jam Blues. Please receive Brandon Seaforth, Langston Hughes II, famed jazz artist, along with the United States Army Blues. Bring it in on home. Sea Jam Blues by Duke Ellington.
tem que 